Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video I'm coming to you with a type of unboxing and this one is by far has been my grail wish list item. This is a fragrance that I've wanted ever since Rich Mitch talked about it and he had a couple bottles and I just was looking for it and looking for it. It's impossible to find and I was able to procure a bottle and uh, I'll let you know what it is. Let's go ahead and get it going. So if you don't know from the silhouette on the thumbnail, I'm talking about Anique Gutal's Mer Ardent. It's a very elusive and hard to find fragrance. I was able to finally get, get a brand new bottle of it. And so finally got it in. This is the fragrance that I've been looking for for more, more than a year. So let's go ahead and get it open. Now, when I first heard about it, of course, through uh, Rich Mitch's channel, um, of course I was intrigued just because it has the note of myrrh in it. So I had to get it. And just the way that he talked about it, I think I watched um, Ramsey, he did a review on it as well but i was able to finally get a bottle a full brand new bottle i did decant 10 ml out of it to try and uh you know i bring decants and things to work so i was able to get it in so let's talk about this fragrance very briefly i just really wanted to do this video because you know every year i've been doing like a, a wish list at the beginning of the year it's not anything new um or revolutionary but that's what i was doing and this is one that I've been trying to get in, as I said in the last video, I'm obsessed with resins and myrrh. They always catch my attention. So I really wanted to get this one. And you know, when you go through Fragrantica and you look at uh, what it what it reminds you of and things like that, there's very few things that were like one of one that people said it smelled like uh, myrrh ardente or myrrh ardent. So let's go ahead and spray it on the blotter. I, it is my scent of the day today, but I'm long past the day. Um, of smelling it so let me just get the opening now myrrh ardent or more ardente you can tell me in the uh, comments which one is the correct pronunciation this one was released in 2007 I don't know when it was discontinued but it has long been discontinued I did find out that there was a pure parfum um, concentration of it as well I've never seen that one for sale but I got this one I did have to pay a premium for it but I was happy enough to get a bottle and it was a price that i was willing to pay uh after i got it i did see on uh, ebay somebody posted a unboxed item with just a little bit missing and they were trying to sell it for 500 plus shipping now the notes on this one are myrrh in the top myrrh in the middle it also has benzoin tonka bean gaia wood vetiver and beeswax now what i get from it is like a dry myrrh resinous scent it's not super vanillic or sweet it does have some sweetness to it um, but it it does have a genuine myrrh note to it which is why i do like it it's not very loud it doesn't scream at you uh, again it doesn't list vanilla as a note uh, it looks like the vanillic aspects of it does come from the benzoin and from the myrrh itself myrrh isn't very vanillic um, but it does have a slight um, vanillic type of uh, tinge to it but to me what I what I got from it and what I appreciated about myrrh then is that it does have a genuine myrrh note to it and it so that puts it in a particular category where I remember Ramsey saying that it is um, a, a reference myrrh fragrance so I would agree with that is that it could be a reference myrrh what I like it in comparison to something like oriental velours is that it doesn't have that uh, camphorous um, type of essence to it. It doesn't have any camphorous notes to it. And it, it has that sweetness. So uh, myrrh fragrances generally uh, in the fragrance realm, they are always, for the most part, paired up with vanilla and they are quite sweet. Like um, there was one, Myrrh Absoluto by Valentino, which is quite sweet. 
There is, of course, the Myrrh Imperial, which has vanilla and tonka bean and things like that. That one is quite sweet as well. Now, I did quickly want to compare it to Oriental Velours because in my video, I did mention that to me, this is the most authentic um, myrrh interpretation in a fragrance. And like I said, it does have that camphorous sort of feel to it. I think it has spruce in it, some type of pine. And I really do like that scent. I love that a lot, but it's, it's definitely different in comparison to here, but they do both have genuine, authentic myrrh uh, notes in them. I wouldn't necessarily call them accords, but they do have genuine myrrh notes. Do I like this one more than Myrrh Imperial? As a scent itself, uh, I would say I'd probably like as a scent Myrrh Imperial more. I like this one more as far as if I was looking for an authentic myrrh note, uh, a, a scent that has an authentic myrrh note and is in that semi-sweet uh, resinous type of feel. Um, this one, I was searching for it and searching for it. Was it worth <laughs> the hunt? I would say yes. Um, you know, you get caught up and you have like FOMO and uh, fear of missing out and things like that. Um, to me, I wasn't like, you know, super blown away by it, but I did pre appreciate it for what it is. And I'm very happy to have it in my collection. Would I get another bottle? Yesterday when I was wearing it, I was contemplating that. I wouldn't get another bottle at the price that I paid for this one. If I got it, if one fell in my lap, you know, a used bottle for half of the price, probably I would take it because it does have that again realistic authentic myrrh note to it and if you've ever smelled myrrh unburnt myrrh uh, resin then you would know what i'm talking about and i like the way that it's mixed with the beeswax it is a sort of muted scent it doesn't project very far and it also sits very close to the skin so there you have it guys that is my uh, unboxing of my grail wishlist fragrance the fragrance that number one on my list to find i'm very happy to finally get it shout out to the guy who i was able to procure this bottle from um i don't know if <laughs> what else will will come through this year but now that i have this i'm sort of like set i'm you know that that itch has been scratched and i can hang it up for the rest of the year although more fragrances will come so let me know if you've tried Mirar Dente. let me know if you've been looking for it uh, shout out to Rich Mitch for uh, putting us on to this fragrance. I'm very happy to have it. I'm looking forward to wearing it more uh, to get to know it, but that's just my first impressions. Let me know if you have tried this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.